This is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. This week, will you want to remember? No one can accuse Hugh Jackman of shying away from challenging roles. Between musicals and Marvel, he's done picks like The Prestige and The Fountain. In his latest, Reminiscence, the question is whether the challenge results from the demands of the character or the way the project was conceived and executed. It's the directorial debut of Lisa Joy, best known for her work on Westworld, with production help from Jonathan Nolan, brother of Christopher. Reminiscence is ambitious, part neo-noir thriller, part post-apocalyptic sci-fi, part crime procedural, and part psychological romance. The story concerns ex-soldier Nick, Jackman's character, and his also veteran sidekick Emily, Fandy Newton, who operate a business in an overheated, flooded Miami, helping clients relive memories. They have drugs, an immersion tank, and a hollow projector to assist in the effort. One night after closing, May, Rebecca Ferguson, walks in for a session, supposed to find lost keys. Nick falls for her big time, much to the chagrin of Emily, who, despite her misgivings, sidekicks her way through the story, which starts in earnest after May suddenly vanishes. What this one has in the way of a cool idea, wonderful set design and cinematography, it loses in the lack of character development and heavy-handed narration. Both these issues are due to the sprawling nature of the narrative. We get hints of characters with interesting backstories, but too much is going on too fast to delve into them. The narration is an ill-conceived way to guide the thing through to its too many endpoints. As a concept and cautionary tale, there are reasons to watch this one. Had Joy stuck with the format with which she's familiar, the multi-episode series, Reminiscence could have been truly killer. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. Catch up with us at Take Two Movie Review.com and feed us back on our channel on YouTube.